Thank you for the support. Thank you, Father God, that the support that they give us, oh Lord Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you and praise you, oh Lord Jesus. Awesome are you, oh Lord. Awesome are you. I want to thank you, Lord, for the breath in our nostril, oh Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, for the word, oh Lord. How awesome, oh Lord Jesus, are you, oh Lord. Your presence is awesome, oh Lord God. Glory to your name. I believe this evening you're going to speak to each one of us, oh Lord. You're going to speak to all of us, oh Lord God. You're going to minister to all of us. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Your word is alive. Your word is a two-edged sword. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, a rhema word, oh Lord, for everyone today. And I pray and I believe all that we hear. I believe the seeds are sprouting in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for Sister Alicia, who's going to minister today, who's in our midst. Bless her in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise you, Lord. We give you all glory. Lord, we know you have great things for all of us, O oh Lord. Jesus, a woman, O oh Lord God, was targeted in the Garden of Eden. But I believe, O oh Lord, you came, O oh Lord Jesus, through Mary, O oh Father. And Lord, you resurrected, O oh Lord, this woman clan, O oh Lord. You said, O oh Lord, we are blessed, O oh Lord. We want to thank you, Jesus. You gave us a name, O oh Father. Lord, you gave us, O oh Lord, Master, a name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. That no man can erase it. And Lord, all those who trust in you, all the sisters that trust in you will never be put to shame. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for us. My glory and the lifter of my head. Psalms 3.3. I want to thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Greetings to each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. God is so good. Amen. And um, we welcome all the sisters, all the precious sisters. You are taking so much of time. You know, and um, segregating this um, Tuesday for Wings of Glory to listen to God's word. I know your faith has made you whole. And today we have a special guest speaker, Sister Alicia. Uh, Sister Anupama will um, introduce the guest speaker. Uh, before that, I just thought how I found this uh, Sister Alicia, this precious sister. Okay, during lockdown, I got connected with uh, Madonna sister uh, through her healing series. And I was watching um, their um, YouTube videos. At that time, Sister Alicia translates all the messages in Hindi. So she translates all the messages. Uh, beautifully, she does, you know, in Hindi. And um, this is how I met her. And uh, though we met, we never spoke and all. But uh, secretly, I used to just watch and uh, listen to whatever she was translating in Hindi. That Even though I don't know Hindi. And... Um, Again, another uh, flyer I saw was um, for children, uh, you know, for children, K-O-H-M. Uh, Sister Anupama will tell what is that. During lockdown, you know, a new thing came up. I mean, they were doing it, but they introduced it for all the other ch children. So I joined my son during lockdown. He just joined for maybe a few uh, weeks. He joined. Yes, it was a blessing because of the school and tuitions and all. He was not able to join. But um, she's a mighty woman of God. And over to Sister Anupama. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. We welcome each and every one to this evening prayer. Uh, we welcome especially Sister Alicia Fernandez, who has joined us all the way from Pune, Maharashtra. Welcome to you, Sister. So let me just read about uh, Sister Alicia. Uh, she identified herself as son of God, according to Romans 8, 18 and 19. And uh, she is the trustee of Kingdom of Heaven Ministries. KOHM is Kingdom of Heaven Ministries, which is there in Pune. She's a founder and director of Kingdom Bible School also. So welcome to you, sister. So we'll get to know more about you as we go on. So you have another half hour's time. You can go ahead and talk. If you all are free, if you all can switch on your videos, we welcome you all to switch it on. Let's give uninterrupted half an hour of time for God. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Welcome again. Yeah, thank you so much, Pastor Shiva and Pastor Anupama. It's a blessing to have all of you. And yeah, uh, it, it's an honor and privilege to be here. So, so grateful to God for this opportunity. And uh, yes. I always uh, think about this, that I'm a son of God and I'm I am just here to share his heart. So every time when whenever we get a chance to share, uh, it's all about sharing his heart because he's a loving father. 
Okay, awesome. So yes, um, as um, I was just asking Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what do you want? What do you want? And uh, Holy Spirit was just impressing this on my heart uh, where he just wants to speak to all of us, even to me. He wants to remind us. Uh, I am just seeing one of the, you know, the poster, like the DP, uh, where uh, one sister, Ruth's sister, her DP is, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah, that's what God is impressing today, uh, that we are different. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah, we are not a mistake. It just did not happen uh, through an accident. It was something, uh, I mean, we are not here even to compare and think that, oh, I don't think I'll be able to do anything. You know, all of this is not for us. Yeah, so from this story, uh, you know, Holy Spirit was reminding me, we'll just study the story in short as Holy Spirit leads us. Yeah, so uh, this is from the book of Judges, Judges chapter 6, the story of Gideon. Uh, the main highlight uh, as a short highlight, if I give you, is um, the, the background or the description of it was that at, the, at this time, because it's a part of the Old Testament, uh, Jesus had not paid the price on the cross at that time. And the Israelites were continually disobedient. As they were disobedient, uh, you know, what happened was like uh, the Midianites. They, they got a chance to invade or uh, attack Israel. And uh, the, the main strength of Midianites, that's the enemy nation of Israel. Yeah. So the main strength or the biggest strength of Midianites here in Judges chapter 6 is that they were large in number. The Bible refers to as, now uh, we've seen many instances in the Bible where uh, when the Bible talks about, uh, you know, Jesus fed the 5,000 men plus women, you know, there are many places where exact number is noted down. You know, uh, when Peter, he gave the, you know, when he, he spoke and after that, uh, so many were saved, it, it clearly spe speaks about 3,000. So when the Bible is talking and specifying numbers, the Bible is very clear. Yeah, it's not by chance, it's not approximate. Yeah, but here the Bible says the strength of Midianite, that Midianites were a, as many as locusts. So the Bible is not exaggerating it. The Bible is not just trying to add up things. But the Bible clearly says the strength of Midianites, they were as many as locusts. That was their strength. Now coming to Israel, uh, you know, they were not this much, obviously. They were, you know, they were fearful that time. Uh, they, they were disobeying, obviously, God, but they cried out to the Lord. And the Lord answered them. The Lord chooses this, this man of God, this man that is Gideon. He's a judge and he, God chooses this judge, Gideon. Now, I just want to showcase or uh, let's, let's pay attention to Gideon's response. The moment God chose him, Gideon is responding like us. Many a times we have responded like the, like Gideon. Like when God has spoken something over us, we're like, God, is it me? Are you talking about me? God, I hope you're not joking. Yeah. If, if we've got a prophetic word, initially we were like, Lord, I don't know whether I'll be able to do this. I don't know. Yeah. God, I've not even spoken in front of people. How will I do this? So we keep um you know somewhere measuring things as per our past performance but that's not the way god sees us when god called gideon no doubt gideon's uh you know i'll say his personality was he was weak he was not that strong and that's what he highlights he speaks about his physical strength he speaks the way he sees himself so Gideon speaks to the angel of God and he says, I am the weakest. You know, this verse is uh, Judges chapter 6. Yeah, verse number 15. The verse that I'm referring to is Judges chapter 6, verse number 15. So 
so he's saying, I am the weakest. I am the least in my father's house. How can I do it? Lord, how can you choose me? I've not even done anything till now. But God does not see our performance. He does not see our past and then that way he chooses. No. God chooses us because he loves us. And he chose us when we were in our mother's womb. That's what, that's how God sees. So today I'm sure, uh, you know, God is speaking to you. God is calling you because here also God spoke to Gideon and he said, you mighty man of valor. That way God addressed him. That's the way God saw Gideon. You mighty man of valor. So today the Lord is speaking to all of us this way. You mighty women of God. You warrior. You're just going to take down nations for the kingdom of God. Where you are going to stand, the atmosphere will stand. The atmosphere will change, sorry. Because you carry the presence of God. I believe these words are becoming very, uh, it's becoming truth to us. It's not just, uh, you know, I'll say a positive session where we are just trying to boost you. No, this is the truth. It's from the word. It's the truth. The Lord says, when he sees you, he says this, you mighty women of valor. You mighty women. He sees us that way. Maybe we are seeing ourselves as per our past records, what we have achieved. And maybe we've not achieved uh, a lot in our past. We failed. There are more than success stories, we had failure stories. It's okay. God is not seeing you that way. God sees you in a special way because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are different. You need not to compare yourself with anyone because you are different. And yes, God has entrusted each one of us with a calling, which is so different, so different and so special to him. Not necessary that everybody is going to be on the pulpit. But wherever we are, we are going to create a difference. God is going to do that through you. It can be in schools. It can be in colleges. It can be at your workplace. But there nobody else can reach. Only you are the one. Only you are the mediator. Only you are the son of God there. And yes, again, the Lord is just impressing this. He sees you and says, I am not seeing your weakness. I cannot even see that. He's seeing you like that. He's seeing you like that. You know, so, so again, I'm impressing this. He sees you and says, you mighty man of, uh, mighty women of valor. You mighty women of God. You are a son of God. So stop seeing your weaknesses. Like this was a personal revelation to me a few years back when I, as Pastor Shiva, uh, she introduced and she said the first time when I saw her videos was I was translating. And just before that, I before the season of translation, uh, I thought I can never do translation. I can never do that. And God said, who are you to decide? <laughs> who are you to decide that? You know, and that time God, uh, he was teaching me through this, this book of Judges on and on and on for months. And that thing, thing broke in me where I was seeing myself. I was limiting myself. But we know we are dead and Christ lives through us. We are not limited. We have an unlimited, sorry, unlimited God inside of us. And there is unlimited power inside of us. Amen. So that who our God is. We have unlimited power inside of us amen i believe uh you know, when the word says that through our belly flows rivers of living water i i believe the word rivers of living water is flowing through you thank you jesus thank you jesus yes thank you jesus so when while we are listening to this word 
rivers of living water is flowing through us rivers of living water you are unstoppable the way uh, god is seeing you is this he says you mighty women of god amen yeah so that's what uh, then later gideon is still questioning like i he was confused lord are you sure you're choosing me are you sure that you are going to defeat the midianites who are as numerous as locusts you know are you sure that you are going to uh, defeat them through me so he was a little skeptic he was still not sure but god is so good he kept uh, he kept you know adding or or speaking to gideon in such a way where he was confident he kept building his trust you know there are many instances if we read the entire chapter we don't have much time but if we read the entire chapter there are so many places where god kept strengthening him god gave him small uh, assignments to do and when he did that he saw that god was with him so slowly and gr- gradually uh, gideon's trust started building so i believe the lord is handing over assignments to us which might look very small very small like i am just sharing this to encourage everyone i am a son of god and that's my identity nothing else yeah but i'm just sharing this to encourage when god spoke to me about starting uh, a bible class for children uh, that just sounded like very ordinary sunday school initially you know the others did not even value it like value as in they were not sending their children that's the way i'm saying okay so uh, you know that time somewhere as per the people it looked very small but i knew it is from god i knew that god has spoken this to me yeah so when i took the first step it looked very small like sharing word with children their elders need the word you're not sharing with them but you're sharing the word with children so it just looked very small but later when uh, i i'm saying i was not perfect i was learning when i was you know uh, trying to follow what god is telling me when i was obeying him i also felt low at times but he kept comforting me he kept showing me from his word he kept encouraging me and i never thought this big what i'm seeing today that has come out and of course even much more is going to come right so i believe this is a time for assignments where the lord is releasing and the lord wants us to be obedient and he is going to teach us to be obedient it's not going to be uh, you know it's not going to be stressful for you this is from the lord it's going to be super effortless from you and you have the greatest encourager of this world and this encourager is jesus he is going to encourage you so uh, thank you jesus holy spirit is reminding me there were some assignments which were given to you and you were doing it but because of certain things you just thought i i'll not be able to do it i can't do it but the lord is saying take that back Holy Spirit is saying it right now. Take it back. Start that again. Start that again because He is taking you on a journey, like He took Gideon on a journey. Right the right the first day, He did not take him in front of the Midianites to, to so that you know He could destroy Midianites through Gideon. No, but God prepared him. God kept showing Gideon. what he sees or how he sees gideon he kept breaking gideon's mindset because gideon had a mindset where he was seeing himself this way i am weak i am the least i can't do it i oh how come i can't even talk that's the way gideon was seen so today many of us were seeing the same way but god is breaking that mindset i speak the stronghold such strongholds are broken in the name of jesus lord the way you broke my mindsets lord and and i'm ready for more lord whatever you want to break those those strongholds in me i'm ready for it father god the same i speak over them lord 
such mindsets which are not from you, Lord. I break it now in the name of Jesus. I break it and I, I just built the word of God there. Everyone here are going to see the way you see them. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Rekha shatha lera sekharanamava. Thank you, Daddy. They are going to see the way you see them. They are going to see through your eyes, Father God. Re dekha lara shakhari namava. I see. I, this is a prophetic word. You are going to see things the way God sees. You're going to see others the way God sees. You are going to see yourself the way God sees you. Thank you, Jesus. And through this, there'll be many exploits, kingdom exploits that's, that's going to happen. Kingdom exploits. I get this word very clearly from Holy Spirit. Kingdom exploits are going to happen here. Thank you, Jesus. Court cases being sold in the name of Jesus. What belongs to you is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Marriages being restored in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, Re Karana Mamra. You're establishing newness in the families, Lord. Freshness in marriage. Freshness and marriage. I speak freshness and marriage. Re Khalara Di Karabara Shikarana Mamra. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Yes. So, yeah, let's come back. So, your uh, God kept teaching. God was on, was on a journey with Gideon. So today he's on a journey with us. Every day. Every day. He's, got, he's on a journey with us. Yes? So yes, let's fast forward this, uh, this chapter where um, later God kept teaching him step by step and God kept building his trust. Okay? So now it was the final time where uh, God says, okay, get your army. So they were, I think, in 11,000, something like this. And God said, now, Midianites, I'll just recall, Midianites were great in number. Okay, they were, the Bible is saying, they were as many as locusts. Yeah, so now again, Bible does not exaggerate. So here now on this side, the Israelites, their army was some 11,000 something. God says, you are too many. I'm not going to, uh, you know, fight with this, this, the strength. I mean, now if we think in worldly terms, 11,000 in front of the Midianites they, that were in locusts, that were as numerous as locusts, I mean, it's impossible. But your God is saying 11,000 is too many. Finally, God brings down the number and finally there are just 300 that God chooses. That too, God chose 300 not based on, okay, let's have a fight and the ones who are going to be the mighty and strongest soldier will be chosen. No, it has been, if you go through this chapter, it has been such simple or I'll say like no guides or, you know, they are not going to apply these strategies. They'll say this is foolishness, but God's wisdom is above men. His ways are different. His ways we don't understand. Amen. So that's what God's way was superb different and his style is different. He's our father. His style is different and so is going to be ours. Amen. Yeah. So uh, that's what happened. Finally, there were just 300. Now imagine 300 are going to, going to fight against these uh, Midianites who are as numerous as locusts, they have cattle, everything. And these Israel, they have such a thing where they didn't even have the basic, like the Midianites uh, oppressed them greatly where they were not able to eat, uh, did not have proper tents, okay? So that means they were not mighty. They did not have everything to eat, but God took care of them. Amen. So here, let's come to this part because Holy Spirit is highlighting and we have less time. So here uh, in this passage, where in Judges chapter 7, Judges chapter 7, from verse 9 to approximately 14. Yeah, 9 to 14, approximately. You can read it later. 
uh, I'll just cut it short. Your uh, God is now encouraging Gideon again because he knew that my son needs an encouragement. The same way God knows that we need an encouragement. He's going to encourage you every time. He's a good father. He will, he's your greatest encourager and he's going to keep encouraging you. Yeah. So here God understood Gideon is still nervous. So he's not ready for it. So let's do something for him. Okay. So God does something where now, now just pay attention. God is talking to, uh, he's giving us dream to the Midianites. Okay. So Midianites are basically enemy. They are unbelievers. They do not believe in the true God. Okay. So a Midianite who's the enemy of Israel, one man is seeing a dream. The other man is interpreting the dream from God. And they are unbelievers. Okay. Now uh, Gideon goes down to the camp. God, God instructs him, go. And you know, you are going to hear two men speaking. One will be speaking the dream. The other will be interpreting the dream. So go and listen to it. When you're going to listen to it, you'll be encouraged and you'll be ready to fight. Are you understanding what God said? Entire plan he gave. Like imagine the way he's encouraging Gideon. Yeah. So I'll repeat again. He, he says, God says, uh, go down to the camp of Midianites. You know, just, just closely hear what they're speaking. You're going to hear somebody speaking the dream and the other one interpreting the dream the moment you hear them talking you will be encouraged so Gideon obeys he goes down he hears this one man speaking the dream and uh, he's speaking about how he's speaking that he saw a uh, bread crumbling down uh, I think it's in verse 13 yeah I'll, I'll read verse number 13 and when Gideon had come there was a man telling a dream to his companion. He said, I have had a dream. To my surprise, a loaf of barley bread tumbled, uh, tumbled into the camp of Midian. It came to a tent and struck it so that it fell and overturned and the tent collapsed. That's the dream that an unbeliever is speaking. An, an unbeliever saw that dream. Okay, now his companion who again is an unbeliever, he is interpreting the dream. So he says, then his companion answered, verse number 14. I'll repeat, Judges chapter 7, verse number 14. Then his companion answered and said, this is nothing else but the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, the man of Israel. Into his hand, God has delivered Midian and the whole camp. So the moment this Gideon heard, he just was full of confidence. Yeah, he goes back. So I want to highlight on this. Now here, God is giving a dream to an unbeliever, getting the interpretation from an unbeliever. And just because of a dream, both of them are scared. And this is just so that he wanted to put fear in the enemy he wanted to encourage Gideon his son because the nation of Israel was known as son I prophesy this today God is going to give dreams to unbelievers just to bless you he is going to speak to unbelievers to bless you I speak this now you are going to get supernatural surprises from heaven. The nations are going to come to you and pour in your bosom. They're going to bring whatever is needed for you and for the kingdom of God. The same thing happened here. Unbelievers, they are getting dreams. They are getting interpretations just for the benefit of Israel, just for your benefit. God is speaking. He's speaking. I believe this is a prophetic word just for your benefit. God is speaking to so many unbelievers, so many unbelievers, the riches, the multitude of the sea is coming to you. 
the multitude of the sea is coming to you thank you abba thank you abba re tera shakhari bara the riches is coming to you nations are coming to you thank you jesus ho ra shakhi khari bara shakhari bara bara re dere sikara namavra tera shikara namavra thank you daddy there will be so many coming to you because they can see the wisdom of god in you they can see there is something different in you they can see re dekha ra sha ka ri bara sha thi ra na re kha ra there are teachers here there are teachers here children are coming to the light just seeing you just seeing you they'll be attracted to you they are coming to you oh re dekha ra sha ka ri na mabra i speak there is a time of effortless harvest effortless harvest that's happening thank you daddy thank you daddy yes so year now after this dream we we further if we read it was a cake walk sort of a uh, you know a, a success story of israel it was like tap they just got it you know it just because of this dream there was fear that was spread in the entire camp of medianites and the entire camp of medianites there was a utter confusion and fear that was brought by the lord and you know gideon and his men 300 men didn't even have to fight they reached there and they got the victory they just obeyed god and they got the victory there was utter confusion among the medianites and the medianites left they they ran for their life and when they ran okay whatever they had their goods their livestock everything they left they had left it everything was left there for the israelites so if they were as many as locusts even their cattle the bible refers even their cattle their livestock was as many as locusts so now the entire uh, you know the the cattle the livestock the goods of the entire medianites was here they did you, you know when they were fearful they did not pack their bags and then they ran no they were running for their life they knew that god is with them so they will be killed at any time so they just ran for their life they left the goods you know so same thing is going to happen with us supernaturally things are coming to you supernaturally i speak i speak to this group i speak to i speak over each one year and thank you abads your will for them to prosper in every area of their life father god and and they are prospering lord they have they are collecting spoils lord what belongs to them is coming to them effortlessly in the name of jesus thank you abba thank you abba it's coming to them coming to them they are not going to uh, put in efforts to get it it's just coming it's just coming to you thank you abba thank you abba re khatara shakari bara she selara it's just coming to you the way these israelites they just came there and they saw everything was theirs the livestock the goods everything was theirs you are going to see the same things are coming to you effortlessly you will not have to toil you will not have to labor it's just coming to you effortlessly thank you abba thank you abba thank you jesus you know if you were facing broken marriage if you were facing things it's coming back to you i speak restoration in your marriage in the name of jesus you as a son of god will not have to compromise no compromise for you in jesus name thank you daddy thank you daddy they are going to live with royalty father god because that's your will for them father thank you abba thank you abba thank you jesus so let's just pray for another one minute and we we'll close as per the timings i'll hand it over to uh, anupama sister and pastor shiva yeah thank you jesus so uh, sisters whatever you're doing if you're cooking if you're in kitchen whatever you're doing uh, i just want just two minutes if you just stop because god is dealing with us he's he's changing inside of us many things thank you abba lord i believe lord this word is is getting inside our spirit father god 
and uh, so many strongholds lord which were against your knowledge which was which was against the word of god lord you're breaking those strongholds inside of each one of us father god we surrender lord we surrender we are ready with whatever strongholds you want to break inside of us we are ready i want you sisters to say lord i am ready i am ready oh re de khara shakha lavara sevara divara thank you daddy i speak and establish your your word of god to be built with strong foundations inside of them lord i speak there are so many things that are just downloading inside of them that's unlocking in the spirit father god right now right now in the name of jesus thank you daddy oh re de se khara bara shikhara namara i believe lord that today from today all of us are going to see ourselves the way you see us we are going to see ourselves the way you see us oh re de khara shakhari namara thank you daddy thank you daddy thank you daddy for your your goodness for your mercy thank you for your word lord and we believe lord this word is not going to go empty you are going to fulfill everything that has been spoken lord and we believe that this word has been sown into our hearts and we have a thousand fold of harvest in jesus name we all agree and pray amen 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 thank you jesus yes over to you thank you so much thank you jesus amen amen hallelujah let's all just type i believe and i receive whatever sister said i'll tell you something sister alisha doesn't know anything about our, our church our group nothing she knows i was just praying lord who should uh, minister in our group and that is when the lord showed me avisha alisha and um, really everyone please receive it and type i receive it i grab what was said amen just say i grab what i what was said today because she didn't say holy spirit is a messenger holy spirit has shared everything amen hallelujah thank you jesus thank you so much alisha prophet is alisha this is really amazing because it got confirmed so many things you know whatever we are going through you have just said it you know um i mean on the whole it beautifully god holy spirit brought it across this is going, we are going to come to the end of this year and how wonderfully for us to enter the next year god is preparing us you know such an amazing god um wonderful amazing if anybody wants to say anything um please unmute and share if there's a word which was said for you say yes this was for me or how you were blessed with this meeting okay so please we'll just take another 10 minutes that's all and then we'll have canada translation anyone please uh unmute and um, speak share how god um, spoke to each one of us <clears throat> each one of you yeah don't feel shy I'm telling you time for shyness procrastinating it's okay later later is over i mean many things you confirm sister many things you confirm you know for the past two three weeks the lord is saying the same thing and you confirmed it you nailed it actually beautiful amazing is any sisters come on this is your opportunity amen this praise lord sister yes what sister said, uh, what sister said uh, whoever believes in him uh, out of his heart flows the rivers of living water uh, yes sister yes very true that word touched me uh, lord thank sister you, amen amen thank you sister yes anyone else i know there are so many don't feel shy i'm telling you see when when we say amen i'm telling you know that seed is birth you know the seed is sprouting you know all these days it was just lying like a dormant when we say yes i receive it something is happening is somebody unmuted yes go ahead uh, praise lord uh, actually today i was very low um, but uh, listening to this word it has encouraged me today i might look like a gideon but yeah i have a, i will be going to see the bigger victory in my life and i know i will testify about it so i give god the, all the glory because he strengthened me with this message uh, actually my son is down with a high fever i couldn't able to attend the meeting i joined in a little later only but uh, god wanted to speak to me about this so he made me sure that i joined the 
meeting and i'm blessed by the meeting and i know uh, i can't tell you how much i have been encouraged but i know i will be testifying about this in future for sure i give all the glory to god and thank you sister for such an encouraging words amen 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 thank you lord thank you lord for sister roselyn's life and let's all just pray that her son is healed in the name of jesus by your stripes the child is healed both the children are healed by the stripes of jesus no plague shall come near a dwelling or lord in jesus name amen i you know um sister roselyn who just um testified right now you don't know how she's growing you know her graph is going up amazingly she's growing in the lord i'm so happy for her and anybody else yes you know please uh, share and then i'll um, ask sister anupama also to uh, say how she was blessed anyone else uh, i just want to tell Uh, when i was uh, working in um, kuwait as a nurse many times i was a uh, difficult situation i was going that time god was speaking the same word uh, uh, words uh, about uh, gideon uh, it is uh, judges chapter you are a mighty warrior same question i asked lord am i a mighty warrior i like that that word when i heard oh this is what god spoke to me before the same thing the god renews uh, so i praise the lord that uh, uh, this words through sister alicia is uh, a so powerful god has uh, encouraged me restore my spiritual life strengthen me god bless you all amen amen praise god praise god thank uh, you mom praise the lord sister actually uh, sister thank you so much uh, sister alisha so this is the fifth time in the past two weeks i'm getting the word restoration so it is first in my prayer i got it later in the night prayer uh, in the church we got it we heard it twice and with one of the brother again and this is you again telling me uh, the word restoration yeah so i think there is a big plan of god in all our lives so we might not able to see it today but there is something happening in the spiritual realm that we will be seeing it in the future so only thing is we need to glorify god for that and uh, as you said we need to believe that as we are alive today the god uh, what he has now started is not yet completed so he will definitely continue his good works in us and he will make us as a mighty warrior to build his kingdom so not only in his kingdom so he is both friendly to build our spiritual life and the materialistic life what we need to build his kingdom hallelujah hallelujah thank you sister shiba thank you so much i'm telling you this is not an ordinary meeting this is not like we just have to finish something uh, we had women's meeting event no this is not event program no there's some shift that is happening in your homes you know i'm telling you this is a shift that is happening i can just feel in my spirit this is we are not doing women's meeting business church no sisters i'm telling you okay 7 o'clock okay uh, somebody should unmute okay just check whether your audio is are off okay yeah so uh, uh, what i'm saying is sisters please don't take it like this is just oh women's meeting you have to attend tuesday 7 o'clock finish shut down no sir. a humble request please like yeah. can you just unmute i don't know who is that yeah thank you sorry uh so just sorry because the flow gets cut you know that's for nothing else this is um see uh, how how you know how what i want to say is you are in a big trouble okay especially women everything revolves around us the whole family we are like the one you know one piece of uh, jewel there if we fall down everything you know around us just collapses and enemy is playing games with our mind with our emotions and he wants to destroy us but today's word today's prophetic word week after week whatever we are listening is just to shake us and say hey come on mighty woman of valor 
everything is in your hand you will do it you can do it and see how god sees amen so just receiving the word only whole place is changing amen receiving it only our minds are changing minds are changing everything is changing and we are victorious that's all very simple so thank you so much once again and uh, we'll pray for you sister anupama you can share yeah thank you sister alisha it was uh, really encouraging i think god is qualifying the call again and again again and again every week he is just strengthening us um daily walk with god and uh, as we are walking in the world also it's it be- sometimes it becomes really difficult uh, just sometimes it, even yeah, there is a doubt like am i doing the right thing but then every tuesday he is coming and confirming it again no you are doing the right yes i am with you thank you thank you sister god bless you it was wonderful for each and every one of us i know so we have received it thank you sister god bless you amen amen thank you so much jesus really i just feel like just crying and saying thank you jesus you know how good god is i'm telling you how awesome god is let's all just pray and close and bless sister alisha thank you lord thank you so much daddy jesus you love us so much oh lord god father no one can love us like you lord god you're so loving lord who is alisha sister she doesn't know anything about us lord lord you're so good oh lord god you love us so much and lord you sp- you love each one of us and you spoke through your prophet is a oh lord thank you so much and i believe lives are changing marriages are restored financial conditions are restored lord wealth of the wicked is ours oh lord supernatural provision oh lord i believe oh lord we are not going to enter oh lord jesus another day with doubt and failure oh lord another day oh lord jesus thinking is there god is this word true why is it not working for me no lord all that is over it's a done deal today lord it's buried on the cross thank you lord today oh lord is a day oh lord god of burial for all those death hell and grave thoughts oh lord and i believe we are entering oh lord god into a new beginning a new resurrection a newness oh lord god thank you lord i pray all our sisters eyes will open and i pray oh lord how you see others help us to see others daddy lord how you love others help us to love others lord how you see how you forgive lord help us to forgive help us to love each other oh lord god thank you lord let there be love shared among all of us oh lord god you restored even that today oh lord among our sisters i believe there's a great awakening oh lord jesus mighty women of valor oh lord god a connection oh lord god a fire oh lord god jesus in this place is set oh lord thank you so much jesus thank you daddy thank you so much you're preparing this generation thank you daddy thank you so much daddy you love us so much no one will love us like this lord you alone love us daddy you alone love us lord your word is so true lord god master thank you so much daddy appa stotram andavare stotram pa lord all of us we speak a blessing on alisha sister lord she her husband a child oh lord god in the womb we speak a blessing on her in the name of jesus i pray she will have supernatural encounters oh lord god master a mighty woman of valor oh father i believe oh lord jesus she doesn't even have to worry about anything oh lord god everything is taken care oh lord god master she will live in houses oh lord that she has not built she will live oh lord god master ha- see that numerous times oh lord that hand of god that mighty hand of god through our god you shall do valiantly it is he oh lord god who is going to do great things for you amen amen thank you lord god for everything that you're doing in alisha lord god the generation oh lord that is going to follow her as she's building up children oh lord i believe oh father lord master mighty mighty generation is oh lord is rising up oh father she is a nation builder oh lord bless her in the name of jesus we bless her and bless each and every sister here oh father those who couldn't understand holy spirit you make them understand holy spirit today in their dream in a vision you are going to make them understand and i believe who are the people who are connected to blesses give them a dream give them a vision i thank you and i praise you lord we give you all glory honor power and praise in jesus name we pray everyone say amen amen hallelujah mighty god mighty god thank you jesus thank you once again sister alisha it was amazing mind blowing amen <laughs> thank you so much she is in pune we are in bangalore we don't have any connection but divine connection amen hallelujah such an amazing god no what an amazing god really 
I, I am just so overwhelmed. Yeah, nothing else to say. Really, so overwhelmed with God's joy. I mean, God is so good. No, God is so good. I mean, thank you so much once again. We are going to have it in Canada right now. So, anything you want to say, Alicia, sister? I want to say something. Say a bye or bless her. Already yeah. said, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. So. I am I'm so overwhelmed and obviously this word has been a, a confirmation for me so many times. The word has, God has spoken through his word to me. He kept breaking my stronghold. So I, I believe that there's a shift that has happened in each one of us, in each one of us. And uh, yeah, I'm so, so happy, so blessed to, uh, that I came here. Thank you so much, everyone. You are mighty women of God, mighty women of God. So daddy loves you. Jesus loves you a lot. And yes, stay blessed. Love you all. Amen. Amen. When you were saying mighty woman of valor, I was thinking I'll make one flyer. Mighty woman of valor. Yeah. All of you, please put it as your DP or state. You are a mighty woman of valor. We make badges and put it and remind ourselves that we are mighty women of valor. Amen. Thank you, Alicia. Amen. Sister. Amen. Amen. Send me also, sis. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, ma. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's uh, all those who would like to uh, listen in Canada, you can wait. Amen. Amen. God is good. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lavina, sister, you're there? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm here. Hey, Jean, you are a good. Hello. Ah, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise. Yeah, ma. Okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, there's a lot of disturbance, but uh, I will try. Uh, I will try. Miss Madhendra, they made Anu help me Anu. Okay. Uh, praise the Lord, everyone. They are Namas Totru Agli. In the Sanjay of Kelis Kununta, Have the Waku, Atutumavagi to Elana, Utsaha Gurisunta, Have the Waku and Alice Suna Mada the Hanskondru, or Bangalore and Liruanta has a hodri, a lauru, Pune Liruanta, or Idon the Daivika Wadanta has some Bandavana Dior Namgoskra, Air Persidanenta, either Murkana Turko Bodu, and then. Namali Aude on the Itimitila, the Rathmana Karegalienta, Idon the Doda Sakshia Gide, even the Galigali or Head and Taha Vakiwana and Felis Kornam. Our end and the Head Tarandra or Motte Modnadagi, they are the Kusund Prakne Matar Bekadre, they were Nani and the Waka Hedli and the Pavisatman and Kedwaga, Pavisatma Hedanante, Nani Miller of the Game Matanard Bekonta, Hallelujah, Pavisatma Hedanant and Avalon in Mondige, Matanard Bekonta, Held Tare. Uh, our group leader, that was Sister Ruth, and our uh, DP, that uh, was one of the main marks. Only during that, there were work held to that. There were no man, adbuta wagyu, vichitra wagyu, sushi made done. There were no man, adbuta wagyu, vichitra wagyu, and made done. That sushi made done. Ah, one of the work that was held to that. Even though ah, one of the DP, no, no, that Devishwana, there were Some one to watch on Mundu or Hill Helter and Tandre, Namanukuda, they were at Buddha, the daughter of the Alus and Nati Dar and the Hilta, Arnia Diaya, from his Samaya Daga, even to watch every Gidion and Katibutu. Andre Gidion and Ubundu Yari, some of the Paton, Israel, some of the Paton. Israel and the Bagan in Gelabuch and Nagutu, or Sobaway and the Biaper want to do, Bunabu to do. They gave a video again or Kulu, Dumate, Kone, they were Trane Hogi, they were in Nakapa to Gurado. They were Israel Guna and Agitu, or they were gave. Avidia Ragidru, Amele Bandutu, Tumba, Bayapadunto Ragidru, Matea Wagloru, Yen Marta and Sandra, Gunugutu and Taha Soba Ula Ragidru, Adra, Ade, Undu, Gumpina Lidan Tauno, Gidiona Agidano. Auna no Nodu Dadre, Auna, they had a parasitia to Auna, 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 Balakina, Nunta, Auntil Kultane, Adre, they were on a node in Karita and Sandre, Nan, Nina Mukantra, Nika, Kariana, Marbe, Kutinenta, they were Dutra Mulaka, Mata, Nardaga, Gidiona, no. On Gondej Kayo, Nanamukantra, Ninukaria Martianta. Avaga Gidion and Nodi Deodu to the head of Taha, Modelina Martin and Tandre, Balistana than Taha, Parakrama Shali, Balistana than Taha, Parakrama Shali, 
ನಯಾಸ್ಥಾಪಕರು ಆರನೇ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ನೀವು ಓದಿ ನೋಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಆ ಹನ್ನೆರಡನೇ ವಚನದಲ್ಲಿ ದೇವದೂತನು ಹೋಗಿದ್ಯೋ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಈ ಮಾತನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆ ಸಹೋದರಿ ಅಲಿಶ ಸಹೋದರಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂದು ನನ್ನ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ನಿಮ್ಮ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ದೇವ್ರ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳೋನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನಂದ್ರೆ ಮಗಳೇ ನೀನು ಬಲಿಷ್ಠಳು ನೀನು ಪರಾಕ್ರಮಶಾಲಿಯು ನಾವೇನಾಗಿದ್ದೇವಂತೆ ಬಲಿಷ್ಠರು ಆಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಪರಾಕ್ರಮಶಾಲಿ ಆಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವೇನ್ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ನಾವು ಬಲಹೀನ ತರು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಬಲ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಲು ಶಕ್ತರು ಅಂತ ನಾವ್ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ದೇವ್ರ ಎಂತವ್ರು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆತನಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಭೂತ ಕಾಲ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಬೇಡ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅರ್ಹರಾಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಆತನಿಗೆ ಬೇಡ ಆತನು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀತಿಸೋನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಆತನಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಬಲಹೀನತೆ ಬೇಕೇ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಆತನು ನಮ್ಮ ಬಲಹೀನತೆಯನ್ನ ನೋಡುವಂತಹ ದೇವರು ಅಲ್ಲ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸ ನಾವು ಬೇರೆಯವರಂತೆ ಪಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಭೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಥವಾ ಆ ಇದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಪ್ರೀಚ್ ಮಾಡದೆ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆದ್ರೆ ದೇವ್ರು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂತಹ ಅವಕಾಶ ಎಂಥದ್ದು ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೇವು ನಾವು ಟೀಚರ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆಫೀಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಇರುವಂತಹ ಸ್ಥಳದಲ್ಲೇ ದೇವರು ಆತನ ಮಹಿಮೆಗೋಸ್ಕರ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತಹ ದೇವರಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ದೇವರು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಕರೆಯುವಂತದೇನಾಗಿದೆ ಬಲಿಷ್ಠನಾದ ಪರಾಕ್ರಮಶಾಲಿಯೇ ನಾವು ಯಸ್ಸು ಕ್ರಿಸ್ತನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಅಂತ ಮಕ್ಕಳಾಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಬಲಿಷ್ಠರಾಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಪರೀಕ್ಷ ಪರಾಕ್ರಮಶಾಲಿಗಳಾಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನಮ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ನಾವೇನೋ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಲು ಶಕ್ತರಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ ಕೈಲಿ ಇದು ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ನೀವು ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅದ್ರ ದೇವ್ರ ನಮ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಕರೆಯುವಂಥದ್ದು ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ನಾವು ಬಲಿಷ್ಠರಾಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಮುಂದೆ ನೀವು ನೋಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದೇವರು ಸತ್ಯವೇದವನ್ನ ನೀವು ನೋಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಅನೇಕ ಬಾರಿ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಗಳನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಜನರಿದ್ರು ಅಷ್ಟು ಜನರಿದ್ರು ಅಂತ ದೇವ್ರು ಸುಮ್ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಏನೋ ಕಾಟಾಚಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ ದೇವರು ಒಂದೊಂದು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಗಳ ಜನಾಂಗವನ್ನ ಹೇಳುವಾಗ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸತ್ಯವಾದ ತನ್ನದೇ ಆದಂತಹ ಅರ್ಥಗಳು ಉಂಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮಿತಿಯರನ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಆ ದೇವ್ರು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಮಿಡುತ್ತೆಗಳಂತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಿಡ್ತೆಗಳು ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಅದ್ರ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ನೀವು ಎಣಿಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಷ್ಟು ಅದ್ರದ್ದು ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ದೇವ್ರ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಿತಿಯನರು ಇಷ್ಟು ಲಕ್ಷ ಜನರಿದ್ರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಸತ್ಯವೇದದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆಯಲ್ಪಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಅವರು ಮಿಡುತ್ತೆಗಳಂತೆ ಇದ್ರಂತ ಅಷ್ಟು ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಆ ಜನಾಂಗ ಅಷ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಸೈನ್ಯ ಅವ್ರದ್ದಿತ್ತಂತೆ ಅಂತ ಸೈನ್ಯದ ವಿರುದ್ಧ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಲು ದೇವ್ರು ಯಾರನ್ನ ಕರಿತಿದಾರಂತೆ ಇದ್ಯೋ ನನ್ನ ಕರಿತಿದಾರೆ ಅವನ ಅವನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅಯ್ಯೋ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಕುಟುಂಬದಲ್ಲೇ ಕೊನೆಯನು ಅಲ್ಪನು ಬಲಹೀನನು ನಾನೇನಪ್ಪ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ದೇವ್ರು ಹೇಳುವಾಗ ನಾನು ನಿನ್ನನ್ನ ಆರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀ ನನಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಮಾಡು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಗುಂಪು ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಗುಂಪಿನ ಜನರು ಮಿತ್ಯಾನ್ಯರು ಶತ್ರುಗಳು ಇವ್ರ ವಿರುದ್ಧವಾಗಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಿಡುತ್ತೆಗಳಷ್ಟು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಎಣಸಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ರೇಲರ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೇವಲ ಹನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಾವಿರ ಜನ ಓಕೆ ಆ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಎಣಿಸೋಕ್ ಆಗ್ದಿರ ಜನರ ಮುಂದೆ ಹನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಾವಿರ ಜನ ಇದ್ರೆ ಹೇಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಜನ ಆದ್ರೆ ದೇವ್ರ ಅದನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನನಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಜನ ಬೇಡ ನನಗೆ ಹನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಾವಿರ ಹನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಾವಿರ ಜನ ಬೇಡ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ದೇವ್ರ ಅದನ್ನ ಕಡಿತಗೊಳಿಸುತ್ತ ಕೇವಲ ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಜನರನ್ನ ಆರಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಜನರನ್ನ ಆರಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರ ಆ ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಜನನು ನಾವ್ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಓ ಹೆಂಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ದೇವ್ರ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಆರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಇವತ್ತು ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಒಂದು ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಆರಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರ ಒಬ್ಬ
ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಭಾಷಾಂತರ ಮಾಡುವಂತವ್ರು ಹಿಂದಿ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಹಿಂದಿ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಷಾಂತರ ಮಾಡಿ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಲೀಶ್ ಅವರು ಅದನ್ನ ಮಾಡು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ದೇವ್ರೇ ನಾನ ನಾನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲ ನನಗ ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ದೇವ್ರ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅಂತ ಅದನ್ನ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀನ್ ಯಾರು ನಿನ್ ಕೈಲಿ ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ವಾ ಅಂತ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀನ್ ಯಾರು ಅಂತ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇನೆ ದೇವರು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕಟ್ಟಾಕಲ್ಪಟ್ಟಂತ ಅನೇಕ ಬಂಧಗಳನ್ನ ಮುರಿದು ಹಾಕಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕರೆಯನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನನ್ನ ಕೈಲಿ ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ನಾನು ಮಾಡಬಲ್ಲನ ಅಂತ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ದೇವರು ಇಟ್ಟಿರುವಂತಹ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠವಾದ ಕರೆಯನ್ನು ನೋಡುವುದು ಅಗತ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಸುಂದರವಾಗಿ ನೋಡಿದೇವೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ನೀನ್ ಯಾರು ನೀನ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿನ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧನೆಲ್ಲ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆದಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಾನು ನಡೆಸ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸಂಡೆ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಭಾಷಾಂತರ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ದೇವರು ಅದ್ಭುತವಾಗಿ ನಡೆಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಮುಂದೆ ನಾವು ನೋಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಗಿರಿಯೋನನ ಕತೆ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವು ಓದಿದ್ದು ಆರನೇ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಓದಿದ್ವಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಅವ್ರು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏಳನೇ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯವನ್ನ ನೀವು ನೋಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸಮಯವಾದಾಗ ದಯಮಾಡಿ ನಾಲ್ಕರಿಂದ ಹದ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ವಚನಗಳನ್ನ ನೀವು ಓದ್ಕೊಳ್ರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕತೆ ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ಬರೆಯಲ್ಪಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಅವ್ರು ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯನ ಓದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಸಮಯದ ಕೊರತೆಯಿಂದ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಗಿರಿಯೋನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿರಾಶೆ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ನನ್ನ ಕೈಲಾಗುತ್ತ ನಾನು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಈ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾನರು ಇಷ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವ್ರನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಜನ ತಗೊಂಡೋಗಿ ಸೋಲ್ಸಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯನಾ ಅಂತ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಯುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಅದ್ಭುತವಾದ ಸಂಗತಿ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾನರು ಬಂದು ದೇವಾದಿ ದೇವನಾದಂತಹ ಯಹೋವನನ್ನ ಆರಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಜನ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವನ್ಗೆ ಯಹೋವ ದೇವರ ಮೇಲೆ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಆ ಅನ್ಯ ಜನಾಂಗದವಾದಂತಹ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾನರಿಗೆ ದೇವ್ರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಕನ್ಸನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ರಂತೆ ಅದ್ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಕನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬ ಆ ಕನಸಿನ ಅರ್ಥವನ್ನ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಇವನು ಕನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅವನ್ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿರೋನು ಆ ಕನಸಿನ ಅರ್ಥವನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಬಂದು ದೇವ್ರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಗಿದಿಯೋ ನನ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ನೋಡು ನೀನ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾನರು ಇದಾರಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರ ಗುಡಾರಗಳನ್ನ ಹಾಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಿಡಾರಗಳನ್ನ ಡೇರೆಗಳನ್ನ ಹಾಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ವ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗು ಗುಪ್ತವಾಗಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಅವ್ರು ಮಾತನಾಡೋದನ್ನ ನೀನ್ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೊ ಅಂತ ಅವನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದಾಗ ಈ ಒಂದು ಹದ್ಮೂರನೇ ವಚನವನ್ನು ಅವ್ರು ಓದಿದ್ರು ಅದನ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಓದ್ತೇನೆ ನ್ಯಾಯಸ್ಥಾಪಕರು ಏಳನೇ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಹದಿಮೂರನೇ ವಚನ ಗಿದಿಯೋನನು ಬಂದಾಗ ಒಬ್ಬನು ಒಬ್ಬನು ತನ್ನ ಜೊತೆಗಾರನಿಗೆ ತನಗಾದ ಸ್ವಪ್ನವನ್ನು ವಿವರಿಸಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೇನೆಂದರೆ ಈಗ ನಾನು ಒಂದು ಕನಸನ್ನು ಕಂಡೆನು ಒಂದು ಜವೆಗೊದಿಯ ರೊಟ್ಟಿಯು ಮಿಥ್ಯಾನರ ದಂಡಿನ ಮೇಲೆ ಹುರುಳಿ ಬಂದು ಡೇರೆಯ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಂದು ಬಂದು ಅದು ಬೀಳುವ ಹಾಗೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೊಡೆದು ಅದನ್ನು ಹಿಡಿವಿ ಹಾಕಿತು ಆಗ ಡೇರೆಯು ಬಿದ್ದು ಹೋಯಿತು ಎಂದನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ನೋಡುವಾಗ ಹದ್ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ವಚನ ಅವನ ಜೊತೆಗಾರನು ಉತ್ತರ ಕೊಟ್ಟನು ಇದು ಯಹೂಶ್ವನ ಮಗನಾದ ಗಿದ್ಯೋನನೆಂಬ ಇಸ್ರೇಲಿನ ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ಕತೆಯ ಹೊರತು ಬೇರೆಯಲ್ಲ ದೇವರು ಮಿಧ್ಯಾನರನ್ನು ಈ ಸಮಸ್ತ ದಂಡನ ದಂಡನ್ನು ಅವನ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಪ್ಪಿಸಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ ಕೊಟ್ಟನು ಅಂದನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸುಂದರವಾದ ನಡೆಯುವಂತ ಸಂಗತಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇವರು ಅನ್ಯ ಜನರು ಇವ್ರಿಗೆ ದೇವರ ಮೇಲೆ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತವ್ರಿಗೆ ದೇವರು ಕನ್ಸನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಗಿದ್ಯೋನನ ಮೂಲಕ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ನಾನು ಅಳಿಸ ಹಾಕ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಮತ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಬಿಡಿಸಿ ಕನಸನ್ನ ಬಿಡಿಸಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿನ ಯಾವಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅನ್ಯ ಜನಾಂಗನೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕನಸನ್ನ ಅರ್ಥ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರವನು ದೇವ್ರನ್ನ ಆರಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡದಿರುವಂತಹ ದೇವರಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶ್ವ
ಕಷ್ಟ ಪಡಬೇಕು ಬೆವರು ಸುರಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಅವಾಗ್ಲೇ ಅದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಸಿಗ್ತದೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ದೇವ್ರ ಆತ್ಮನ ಅವ್ರು ತಿಳಿಸ್ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಬೆವರು ಸುರಿಸೋದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಕಷ್ಟ ಪಡೋದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ನಿಮ್ನ ಹುಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಿಮ್ ಬಳಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಅತಿ ಸುಂದರವಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕಥೆಯನ್ನ ನೀವು ಮುಂದೆ ಓದಿ ನೋಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಇದೆಯೋ ನಾನು ಆ ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಜನನ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ಇದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಲ್ಲುವಾಗ ಅವ್ನು ಯುದ್ಧನೇ ಮಾಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚಿತವಾಗಿ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾನರು ಹೆದರಿ ಅಂಜಿ ಆ ಗುಡಾರವನ್ನ ಅವ್ರ ತಂದಂತಹ ಹಣವನ್ನ ಅವ್ರ ತಂದಂತಹ ಊಟವನ್ನ ದನ ಕರ್ಗೊಂಡು ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅವ್ರು ಓಡಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಹಾಲೆಲ್ಲೂ ಇವತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೀವಿತಗಳೊಂದಿಗೂ ದೇವರು ಅದೇ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಮಾಡುವನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅನೇಕ ಜನರು ಬಂದು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇರಾಳವಾಗಿ ಧಾರಾಳವಾಗಿ ಕೊಡುವಂತೆ ದೇವರು ನಿಮ್ಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನ ಏರ್ಪಡಿಸುವನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸದಿಂದ ನೀವು ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸುವುದಾದರೆ ಯೇಸು ಕ್ರಿಸ್ತನ ನಾಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಉತ್ತಮವಾದಂತಹ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವನ್ನ ಐಶ್ವರ್ಯವನ್ನ ದೀರ್ಘಾಯುಷನ್ನ ನೀವು ಹೊಂದಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋರಾಗಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಕೇವಲ ಸಹೋದರರು ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ ಒಂದೇ ಸಂಗತಿ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ದೇವರ ಮಾತಿಗೆ ನಾವು ವಿಧಿಯರಾಗಬೇಕು ಹೌದು ನಾವು ವಿಧಿಯರಾಗಿ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಅನೇಕ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಯ ಭೀತಿಗಳು ತೊಂದರೆಗಳು ಗೋಳಾಟಗಳು ಬರ್ತದೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಜಯಿಸುವಂತಹ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದೇವರು ನಮಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಸಮಯಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂತಹ ಉತ್ಸಾಹವನ್ನು ಆತನು ನಮಗೆ ಕೊಡುವಾತನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಮನಸ್ಸಿಂದ ನಂಬಿರಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಬಲ ಶಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನ ಹೊಂದ್ಕೊಡಿ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ನಾನು ನಂಬ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ದೇವರ ವಾಕ್ಯಗಳು ನಿಮ್ನ ಬಲಗೊಳಿಸಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನಿಮ್ನ ದೇವರು ಕರದಾತನು ನಂಬಿಗಸ್ತನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ನೀತಿವಂತನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಅನ್ಸಿದ ನಮ್ದ ನಂಬಿರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬಲಹೀನತೆಗಳನ್ನ ನಮ್ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಡಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಭೂತ ಕಾಲವನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಡಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವ್ ಏನಾಗಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಅಂತ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಡಿ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋ ಸಂಗತಿ ದೇವರು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಯಾವ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡುವನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ದೇವರು ನಿಮ್ನ ನೋಡೋದು ಏನಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಬಲಿಷ್ಠನಾದಂತಹ ಪರಾಕ್ರಮಶಾಲಿ ನೀವು ಬಲಿಷ್ಠರು ಪರಾಕ್ರಮಶಾಲಿಗಳು ಆತನ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲವನ್ನ ಜಯಿಸಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೀವಿತದಲ್ಲಿ ಆತನ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕರೆಯನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಆ ಕರೆಗೆ ಕಿವಿಗೊಟ್ಟು ಆತನ ಮಾತಿಗೆ ವಿಧಿಯರಾದರೆ ಸಾಕು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಅದ್ಭುತಗಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೀವಿತದಲ್ಲಿ ಜರುಗುತ್ತದೆ ನಿಮ್ನ ಹುಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅನೇಕ ಉತ್ತಮವಾದಂತಹ ಸಂಗತಿಗಳು ನೀವು ಕುಳಿತಿರುವಂತಹ ಸ್ಥಳದಲ್ಲೇ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಿ ಅದೇ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸದಿಂದ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ತ ಮಕ್ಕಳಾದಂತಹ ನಾವು ಆಡಿದಂತಹ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಮಾತುಗಳನ್ನ ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸೋಣ ಅದೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರವಾಗಲಿ ಹಾಲೆಲ್ಲೂ Hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord to listen to it again also it's so nice no mighty mighty a word thank you sister lavina alisha sister was actually listening to you and she was saying sister she is so fluent how she can remember everything so she said you are a blessing to send a message to me tell her she is yeah. a blessing uh, god bless you i couldn't uh, introduce thank you, you. Uh, because yeah i was late mm-hmm. yeah i know that's okay but uh, she said she conveyed her wishes to you and uh, god is so good no amazing it is mm-hmm. so i believe sisters who heard it in canada uh, let's apply it and uh, i was just i just felt okay we'll make one batch like mighty women of valor for us to know our identity i mean you know to know our identity a lot of um, company the id cards all it's there we are not at that company now but believe that we will have one id that badge we are a mighty woman of valor when now we feel low, we are a mighty woman of valor so thank you sister lavina once again wonderful uh, translation god bless you god bless thank you. you thank you shiva uh, thank you everyone for joining sister shanta who is this who is sister shanta i don't know i'm not seeing you and savitra sister is you know our uh, sister Ah, okay, okay. Savita ah, so you are blessed sister you want to say anything very blessed today we are be- really blessed to my sister really blessed so i'm a hello i tell me tell me i can hear yeah so just now i joined the canada message only i joined so ah. regularly i'll join man this really be- this one no is very helpful messages ah, what man. we heard no it is very good very good message we are so blessed amen yeah. thank uh, you send me your number sister i will add you in the wings yeah. of glory broadcast yeah. and, double uh, double z you want me to send through message or you want to what's up what's up okay yeah. okay i'll send it through what's up thank you shanta sister thank you so much thank you so yes much. um thank you once again for conn
But again, see how it, uh, this is the Holy Spirit. It's alive and active. Yeah. Now, thousands of years back, this message was told to, um, told who? To Gideon. But see how it came back again. You are a mighty woman of valor. Tell yourself every day when you get up. Yeah. You now, after brushing our teeth, I think this is the first thing we should do, like taking a pill. I am a mighty woman of valor. Amen. 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 Thank, thank God. Thank God. Thank, thank you so you. much, sister. Thank you so much, sister. No, no, no problem. Thank <laughs> you, sister Shanta. Uh, thank you, Shilnanti. Uh, I know you were also blessed. Thank you, Shilnanti. Thank you, uh, Ravina Mama. Shilnanti, thank you so much. <clears throat> Iris voice as the girls that are the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she was. It is restaurants. It is the third time that the girls come to the restaurant. They have restaurant. They have to go to the restaurant. They have to go to the restaurant. They have to go to the restaurant. November 1st, night fair, Rinku Matada Baga, Itanane Matadito, and Sunday church again, Barak Munchen and 